Hello and welcome traders at this Bitcoin technical and order flow analysis. In today's video I want to go over trading since Friday. I will, I will also show you how I was trading the weekend, it was more passive way and also what we can expect from Bitcoin from this point, up or down. <laughs> it's not that simple. We need to do order flow and technical analysis to see what are the odds for both scenarios, also what are the strong supports and uh, resistances below us. You will know, after you watch this video you will know everything. You can also see uh, my main trades, these are main day trades and intraday trades. Uh, on Friday we were focusing on if we do breakout, because we, if you like, if I turn off everything, you have so many highs close together, massive liquidity. We knew if we do breakout, this is going to be a pretty large move to the upside with extension targets, and we did so. You can also see when I turn on the trades, uh, my 50,000 long, this like this target was given uh, weeks back, before market was not even uh, not even sure it's gonna pump like that. You see my target on swing trade was hidden 65,000 almost, yes over here so this is also one other reason the market is ranging a bit higher time frame traders are taking profits yes there is no big selling yet but you know people like multiple time frame longs are hitting targets not only this swing trade from 50k but also you know like trade like this we also had targets here this was a symmetrical target i will be showing you everything first let's go over the friday because friday we had uh, powell speaking we knew it's going to be volatile Dell once he opens his mouth uh, we knew the volatility is coming to the market because in case he got more dovish or more bullish, I mean hawkish, uh, he can stimulate market both directions. Remember news events are always accelerating market to certain directions because market works with data it has. But when there is new data point or someone new is speaking, which is influential like Pavel, he can change the dynamics of the market and uh, it, that can lead to immediate repricing of assets. Markets are always forward looking. Equities, yields, dollar index, they are always looking forward. So if you change something in their trajectory, there is, there is going to be big reactions. And that was the Pavel here. He was speaking more dovish than expected. He said there will be lowering rates uh, at a bit faster rate to the downside uh, he was happy with inflation so in the end most of the risk assets in the world were pumping uh, equities as well dollar, in the dollar index was going down these are all macro correlations i was covering in the group but let's have a look on friday so i'm waking up you can also see what market loves to do this is very very specific we use in the group these are delta round trips this is really lovely you know when people like you have leverage these um this purple line is leverage leverage is longing heavily okay leading the move once we start breaking down changing market structure you know how much delta and volume is in the system once you go for the pullback and you reach same point where people started longing heavily we saw that also on open interest increase once you reach that point you know it's pretty likely you pushed out a lot of people out of their positions who were longing this move you created max pain you also removed leverage from the system okay because bitcoin's volatility what is causing bitcoin volatility if we would have no leverage uh, positions no cme and no centralized exchanges on crypto bitcoin would be i think very slow asset it would be driven main, mainly by these spots yeah spot inflows and outflows so these were leveraged people, market is now going on pullback, you see what we did, we reached the same point we started actually the impulse to the upside. So you took out most of the leverage, now Bitcoin is like back in line uh, to this spot market and you see what it was spot market doing, slowly buying and uptrending, okay, so spot markets were there, steady buyers. Imagine if there will be no leverage here, we could be just like slowly uptrending with spot market. But now you took out all the people, you caused the max pain. Big traders, uh, they saw the retail longing, they were placing limit orders, they were filling their positions on people closing on their pain and now we are going to the upside, okay? So it was really interesting and uh, especially when spot is not like following the perps market, spot was steadily uptrending, perpetuals were trying, uh, you know, to, to go ahead like too much and you see what happened to the move to the upside so we started up trending again you also had some uh, leverage shorting is not only uh, people closing positions so you also had shorts and now you hit uh, another profit target as you like did another delta round trip 
This is Delta Round Trip. I made uh, educational mod modules for that. Really useful to watch if you want to know um, if market caused max pain. You have multiple things how you like judge max pain. This is one of it. Delta Round Trip. Then we have Open Interest Round Trips, and then we have also yeah those two are main. So as I'm waking up, the main thing uh, I'm, I'm I'm like telling traders this is one of the crucial things what I saw that day. If we manage to return back to highs, it would be really, really nice for market to finally run these equal and weak highs. We might get first decent swing failure pattern from 62,200. 62, so make sure to watch it. You see, I'm literally skipping. That's the thing. As a trader, you can skip bad trades and you can literally focus on highest probability area or just precise level. And you don't have to trade. You don't have to trade until you reach the area. I think that's the beauty of trading and uh, that's where I improved past few years. I, I skip bad trades and I, I focus on good ones. So that improved my PL. Why I'm saying that, you see, one, two, three highs. Uh, locally, you have so much local highs close together. Do you think market is happy with that? No, because traders and market knows there is uh, stop losses above and liquidations. But not only locally. So you want to fix the local highs and you also have like the, um, the leading high on Thursday. One, two, these are equal highs. So, okay, so you have double liquidity behind them. And now you have another high here, very close. Okay, so you have three highs close together. Yes, you can also go for this high. For this high, we, we did, for, we went for it later, but it's pretty far away. So, market can trade this as a standalone 62,200 swing failure pattern. Why I know, why I know it could be 62,200? Because trading different is highlighting me the major liquidity of this over here. Yes. So I can show you chart. Of course, we will be going over my post, but I will be showing you that on a chart. One minute time frame. We can return back to Friday trading. Let's go over here. Look at that. Look at that beauty. 62,200 hit and immediate reversal. So I was not trading anything in between, but I for sure shorted, you know, this is also the trade I was taking uh, on that day. Look at that reward ratio, yeah? That trade alone can earn me so much money. I can take like multiple losers in a row and it's not gonna harm me. You see the move was, overall move was the uh, over 2%. That's really great for scalper and intraday trader. But you also needed to do take profit too. I, I timed out perfectly take profit one. The group knows why I was posting the confluence and also take profit two. I don't want to like I will go over a lot of posts, but I don't want to like because if I go over everything I did, it's gonna be multi hours video. So we need to do it like max one hour. I'm already doing so long videos here, but I I can't stop myself. I just I just need to, to give you what I know. Yeah. <clears throat> And that was that was the estimation. Uh, you see, uh, we were trading above the like this is the main 11-day VAG. I mean the range, and we are steadily trading again above the VAG. So its market is signaling you, okay, I might be ready again. Attack the highs. So the odds were you definitely don't want to like short in like before. Uh, this template we were using as a intraday uh, like this trend template was helping uh, helping us to be on the correct side of the market in the range locally. Spot and perpetual markets. Each time we reach the significant thresholds, it was time to buy or take profit and go to opposite side. But it's okay. We can go a bit lower. Just don't want to spend so much time on a Friday. I don't want to do like main analysis for Bitcoin. Uh, so this was the reaction from 62,200. Hmm, where was my entry? I was like super fast, like telling our trades I'm entering. So <clears throat> here I am, big short at 16.16 time. How fast I'm posting that? I think I was very fast. Yes. In this candle, I'm already telling our traders I'm taking big short. Yes. So you see, there is no inside trading in our group. It's super limited inside trading. It's almost live or live. Yeah. And you are also prepared for what I want to do. So it's absolutely crazy combination. The world is full, like 97% of the world education on trading is inside trading. Ignore them, skip them. You need to be with real traders. I'm literally heading for my retirement with my trading. So you need to be with us. Okay, so we are explaining confluence. You, we see we see the massive week. Yes, just beautiful. You see how the market took the most of that liquidity we were aiming for. That was just nice. 
I'm also warning traders because I'm also still viewing this as an intraday trade. There was no big confirmation we will go like more heavily down. One of the confirmation for, for you would be definitely like acceptance. I mean, you still had like if just from market structure perspective, you still had the higher low and higher highs. OK, you didn't start cascading down below this low, but there was like there was huge liquidity. These were super weak lows. You could easily cascade much lower, but market held here. So I was postponing like I also had some day trade longs. I was still waiting for more breakdowns. So you need to treat it. Uh, this trade was treated uh, as an intraday. You needed to take some profits. Yes, I took two take profits. Take profit three was stopped out. OK, but to play this correctly was uh, important, especially because Pavel was dovish. OK, so first initial reaction of, of the market was down, like traders didn't see some magic. So they took profit on equities, Bitcoin, everything, everything went down. But then, you know, market started to understand what was Pavel speaking. So when uh, the markets like that. So I'm also saying uh, if market does high time frame breakout, the next trade area starts at 64,000. OK, so we are prepared. Do you see much levels in the area here? 62,400 uh, up to 64? No. So not many levels here. It means not much, not much trades. I had one short here, quick scalp. I got take profit and then I was waiting for the main trade area. This was very strong area. We actually range from this area for multiple days. Locally, medium time frame and high time frame. Everybody has reason to actually take profit here and so on. I'll be explaining a bit later. We also saw a big open interest increase. So, you know, our short 62,200 had a lot of fuel to the downside, like for deeper pullback. If market would start like even dropping further, you would be destroying these people longing uh, in that. Yeah, so we were aware of that. You see how correlated Bitcoin was to the uh, news event. Yeah. Uh, the Pavel, like market like to pump when Pavel is speaking and when he stops, whatever it is, even FOMC, like they, it likes the pullback. So Bitcoin was trading on its own, but it was also like equities. This was news event trading. OK. And it was really looking good as a reversal. But if we like st like fail to bridge for that lower highs, lower low structure for the liquidity, so market really stabilized because also world world stabilized look here yeah so we went for the 68,800 take profit was taken even scalp long and you see equity started bouncing yeah so initial reaction down but they were quickly bought up so new trade was happening <clears throat> and a lot of like limits yeah so we were at 60,800 very very big limit orders were placing and stabilizing market yes so market participants were showing you we are for now stopping uh, the declines okay we are starting to support the price i had another scalp all take profits were hit on this scalp traders knew i gave them that in advance you still you still see the volatility continue so bitcoin went for the pullback then but we can actually skip it down. So this was my trading here. Uh, you see by bit also I shown uh, this was my trading since the power started speaking. Big short here, take profit to take on here. Also long here, counter long here, take profit too. This is actually like intraday intraday long had. This was only exposure for me when we go for the upside on from the intraday perspective. So I had 30% left. Once we did breakout, I added 15%. Uh, so I had like 45% exposure to the long side only. This was like scalp account. OK, so scalp account. But I also had swing long from earlier and also from uh, like a few days back, we had this day trade long from 56,000, which was still in place as well. So I had a lot of exposure to the upside. This was like just like cherry on top, like bonus. OK, that's why you need uh, multiple accounts. Yes, you cannot trade this on one account. You will be always doing this. You will never capture big moves yeah, with one account. You, you, you need multiple accounts, two or three. OK, so more scalping was done. <clears throat> Here was another scalp, but we, we knew once we go beyond this high, we have no levels until trade area. So that's important to realize in terms of technical analysis is best to wait for higher regions. As we can see, is void region. You had those order flow scalp, but if market keeps pushing, you are just prepared higher. So you, you know, you skip and you wait until opportunities uh, in the, in this area. Yet we had like super fast week into the strongest portion of that move. Uh, I also I also told told our traders where is the strongest part portion. It's and I said it's 64,400 to 64,700. This is like strongest portion of the 
of the area where we should see some nice reactions you see market is expressly pushing to the upside here is the strongest part yes we went over it like one to two hundred dollars but that's of course on liquidations and uh, that's just normal you know market can outstretch moves a bit especially when it's like forced and you see now the um, the shorts yes the very greedy shorts who were uh, loaded in the in the move and didn't take profit uh, while getting destroyed with this week so this is the most exhaustive event of the day and this actually gave us the main high of the day so you also had the major opportunity to short of course i did so i, I was doing that also on the limit orders it was just beautiful you see very active scalping after that candle uh, big short here then i was taking profit one added to short and further you can also see i was continuing you see this is the strongest part of the of the of the trade area i was preparing our traders by b shorts literally destroyed more than 2000 shorts destroyed further milking when i say milking uh, it means i'm reshorting uh, like positions so <clears throat> take profit one taken again and I add the reshort it's getting your stop loss wider but you also get another uh, new exposure yeah because if you short here you need stop loss behind the week you cannot have stop loss within the week it, you can easily take it out just on inner volatility yes and uh, now <clears throat> we can speak about this uh, swing trade long target which was given long time ago one or two weeks ago all traders who have access to my charts know where was my target 65,000. i will be going over technical analysis and i will be actually showing you why 65k was like long-term target for me so we will be going over that there but you see this was crazy so that's why also started ranging for multiple few days uh, market participants are taking profit we can still go higher sure we can go but there is time to take some money off the table it's just logical <clears throat> we can go down uh, i can also go over yes so this is the weekend trading we can go over a weekend trading ju just a few notes you know if you are uh, trading for a long time you can do some limit orders as well if you have like high chance of your like if you expect your estimates will play out so you see when i was outside and i was unable to trade over the weekend i had limit orders placed this was the first limit order 64,599 was filled over here i arrived home after trekking because uh, saturday i was not home and i immediately took take profit uh, on that trade it was uh, same size i was adding here or to my initial short from friday i was showing you i took profit okay so there was no extra risk for me you see i have two more limits placed here 60, 64,700 and 64,842 also i uh, i did really great profit i was showing you i, I was reshorting heavily on friday on that week so i did a lot of profit which means even if i get stopped out like one two all three limit orders uh, were st are stopped out we push like few like one thousand dollar higher i will still be in profit so i was uh, like sacrificing a bit of my profits for for this uh, for this trade i was expecting we will be in the range you can see how it played out we can go to one minute time frame to current price action this weekend trading we will be zooming out we need to actually go to two minutes yes two minutes is fine trades okay so you saw those adding limits the first adding limit was here about this high okay there was some nice first liquidity and second adding limit was like two of them were in front of this high okay so i was adding nicely i was just expecting we will do this range here at least few days like over the weekend at like minimum over the weekend we also were doing CME gap, so I didn't expect we will make the CME gap much wider. You can also see why I was taking uh, take profit at this area because also CME gap was closed. Look here, another CME gap close. You could be just uh, watching that. Also, we we started pushing to the upside on the open. The CME gap got wider. Yes, so if you were uh, taking the new short here with swing value pattern. This is not swing failure pattern on inverse, but it was swing failure pattern on Binance and Bybit, yeah, Tether. So beautiful and also CME. So CME is sweeping the weekend. CME absolutely loves that because CME loves to take liquidity of the weekend traders both directions. So, and now you start to push down. 
and when we go to CME, no, we can, uh, we can, you can actually see. So fresh push to the upside, but once you started get acceptance below this week, you are getting acceptance inside the CME gap is now very high probability you will fill the gap. Okay, the initial initial balance and this week is always important to get acceptance into. Then you can you can literally fill it fully and you did so. Yeah, so CME gap was filled and that's also what fueled the local range and there's also take profit to here and also mm, i was charting in this but this was long opportunity for you this was exhaustive really exhaustive we can go over this a bit later so weekend trading was done very passive way from my side with expectations of the range you can also see in order books i was seeing we are building a lot of orders a lot of limit orders so we were feeling on a perpetual a lot of big orders on on the week on the swing failure pattern when it happened and you also see the spot market was helpful with the uh, with your invalidation if you were taking swing failure pattern you could be placing uh, if you were live and actively trading stop loss behind the spot wall like pretty tight <clears throat> did we actually eaten something out of this spot wall if we didn't that's pretty bearish sign because it's showing you market had really really no uh no momentum oh yeah so we we started eating 1100 bitcoins out of 208 that's nothing okay so while uh, this is also even more bearish so wall spot wall was retested but there was not enough momentum you you were able to take just five percent of the wall and market reverse for swing failure pattern those are extremely high probability setups over here so don't just was watch perpetual markets you need to watch the spot market as well that's what matters 200 bitcoin spot wall is huge on the spot yeah it has significance on the perps but on spot that's even huge you need like 15 million to eat the wall that's a lot of money it's a really a lot of money at one space so really fantastic over there so passive trading uh, was done with the other books and expectations people will be profit taking on uh, long-term positions putting us into the range because there is still no heavy selling pressure what is spot market doing this is still like not giving good data what is up there we can go now here yeah, one minute and you see people are taking profit here spot uh, is not so like selling like crazy how much 121 okay 100 million sold on a spot market so yes definitely profit taking because some people also do swing trades uh, on the you know on the on the without leverage just on the spot market so you see a lot of profit taking is uh, that's what is putting us into the range all the time frame all time frame traders taking profit now i can show you when i wake up i gave some expectations of the market you can go down you can go to because one of our traders was asking uh, what we can expect from bitcoin here so the question is what is up what is bitcoin uh, up to like what is more possible scenario can we go for the pullback and i was replying yes we definitely can go for the pullback <clears throat> why we already did that pullback like the first one five minute time frame or we can go five minute yeah so yes ignore this this was uh, the high was taken on other exchanges but you know you took liquidity on the short side from the weekend and now this is typical fractal once you run liquidity on the one side of the range you like to do same thing to the downside so you actually stop out initial very like all the people who were longing the weekend they definitely got stopped out not all of them but there was like big pain first like first big pain hit on the because you could see that on the week you can see that on the open interest as well look at that dive so from 2000 bitcoin open interest decrease and we can see over the weekend we actually added so from 2000 we added 7000 bitcoins that's not whole a lot i said in the group i like 10,000 and more so in order for the market to move but yeah we, we, we stopped out some people probably not much uh, like liquidations that would need to go a bit lower we can actually have a look liquidations yeah, yeah it's not looking like crazy probably just very local one yeah yeah just uh nothing nothing special one point that uh one boy 27 million that's not huge okay so this is the fractal situation i was explaining so uh, i was telling trader we need to wait what happens at the lows of the range and when we do liquidity grab once we properly lose the local range we should also see the decent pullback as we haven't built that much support on the latest impulse 
we can clearly see uh, that this range here, if it starts breaking down, we can easily do BART pattern, like you can give up a lot of those gains. You didn't build much support here. Look at that. Low volume node, single prints, huge inefficiency here. People longing at the top. You will literally, like it's super easy for the market to, all the people at the top close, uh, like their open interest will be decreasing, they'll be pressuring price and also early along it might start panning and uh, taking profit and you will accelerate, move to the downside. So we really need to, like if you lose this range, you can go a uh, much lower, but I said very important thing. So we need to, so we need to keep the short from this range. Of course, we had time to build it over the weekend. Uh, over the like over the Friday over the weekend also you saw my adding and also on the Asia open uh, CME gap push to the upside you had swing value pattern so you definitely need to keep like 30 40 percent on your short after you had to take profit one or two if we go because you know there is potential for move to the downside and you also know this in case of a pullback I will watch 63,000 as we have first order block or the block not all, or the books support there from spot and perpetuals the it's area where we might bounce initially either either for lower subwave continuation forming lower high in newly born downtrend or larger range to form one to one extension of the initial range market is in then i'm giving next market structure support which is 61800 and lastly proper naked high volume notes and uh, poc 61000 to 60800 that's literally proper support is here market can still trade you see 61,800 over here these market structure tops here this one and this one you can do push here and then initial bounce you can still do lower high in continuation or you return back into the range but use this is another support inside the, this low volume note proper support from volume is over here but you see what i was mentioning we can bounce from 63k and if we go to the price what did we do and I can uh, I need to go to Binance because you know I'm giving levels a lot of time from the Binance when I'm watching the order books yes so you look at that week 63 the low was 63,075 so there is 75% front run of course Bitcoin is so volatile it can front run my area of uh, expected bounds or uh, resistance one to two hundred dollars you see why someone was placing big limit orders over here he was showing an intention to buy the dip he cancelled he cancelled but it's still possible he can be lurking in the order books on the as a passive buyer like not as a hidden buyer he can buy just the with market orders he there was one limit order left as well that's that's perfectly fine but from market structure perspective you need to see You always watch this area here. So when market goes into the impulse and starts to find first supports, yes, in these areas, oftentimes you, when you do retest, you start bouncing out of this. It's very critical area for you if you do bounce here or not. Okay, so I said we will go, we are over here, I said we will go for the downside. I said downside is very likely and 63k support. You see market in the end went and go go for the bounce and i was giving two scenarios it's going to be either bearish bounce or market will be just forming a large, larger range so you can do something like this so you go down you do this and you do continuation down that's first scenario here yeah but you still have that easy trade uh you know continuation or you can do you go here and you just start ranging so you're just only expanding this initial range here yeah you're only expanding the range into the larger structures. Yeah, you can do this. So you have two scenarios, but you know, 63k I gave and it held us. This was really exhaustive move. Our traders already covered. I was uh, I was doing charting for our group over here, so I was not trading this actively, but I had to take profit too here at least on the phone. I was I was taking. Uh, this was decently exhaustive. Uh, some nice volume spikes. Yes. We can see on exo the drop here like relative volume was super like since since the asia top where we had 500 million volume this was first exhaustive candle today okay so that's why it was so juicy lots of longs closed uh, nice absorptions 
and bounce down so this was your opportunity to long definitely today and you will be just watching do we do range larger from this point and rotate it again or we return back and it's going to be high like lower high put in and we go for the fill of the inefficiencies this is excellent entry because you don't you don't need to be right or wrong you will let the market do the job you just take profit one you you guaranteed for yourself take profit uh, and also cover stop loss and the rest is on the market sometimes uh, it can be that easy <clears throat> so that was covered as well this weekend trading and today a bit now let's uh, let's go over all my te technical analysis folders and then we will have a look on order flow so the trade as you saw i also want to comment on this swing trade target given long time ago one hour time frame we can go first to supply and demand areas for market structures so you understand what is market trying to do here you need to understand more local market structures and like these long long term ones so you combine them together like bitcoin for me gave me green light when we so we were taking we were doing this swing failure pattern here excellent trade but once i saw we finally breach and close above this local market structure look how many times it was a resistance one two three four times so once you do like you bang you bang into the resistance and the reaction is getting smaller and smaller look at that first bang to the resistance big move down big move down another touch and kiss smaller move down another touch and kiss even smaller move down so the more you bank on certain area the higher chance it can actually break because also these people shorting they are like getting exhausted and they will be fueling once you break above these highs they are they are fueling move to the upside yes they failed they failed to uh, hold the market on the pullback just from market structure perspectives you want to hold this area so you will be looking to for the bitcoin continuation from 61,000. 800 or 900 down to 61,400. You want to see Bitcoin do either exhaustive bounce or start coming here and do similar ranges here. So you will range, range, maybe do swing value pattern. You have a chance to position, boom up. So that's what you want to see. Last thing you want to see is to see bleeding. Okay, so you go, you go down, and you market the, that doesn't even notice that. It's now retesting the area, it's acting down. And if it's actually rejecting uh, and uh, retesting that bearishly, you can actually go very heavy down because you will have these people getting stopped out. Yes, a lot of aggressive highs uh, in the trend. And you not only that, this is just price action principles. Oops, I deleted that folder. You also capture because these people who were leading the breakout, they still have open interest. Um, open, I think, yes, a lot of them. yes uh oh okay so there was some big hit we can actually have a look on trdr it's even more precise so we go here we will be turning on the base denomination five minute time frame mm -hmm. yes actually yes yeah, uh, so th we, we knew this, this open interest decrease here was big shorts getting destroyed from earlier, but there were some open interest increasing in, in the move and definitely even if you watch from this point, you still have lots of people. If market goes for the pullback down, you will be stopping out people. You will be stopping out longs, leading the break out. That's why also if you are in short, you are holding part of that short. So. But by the time you do that, we can actually arrive to the market structure and we will watch for the reaction. So that's uh, the most aggressive market structure you watch. But you can also watch the like this one. This one needs to hold also on the pullback. These were in the past, like past six months, this was big supply market structure support. So you need to retest. If you go for pullback, you need to retest. And it's going also going to be high volume node of the 11 day range and also um, so you have high volume nodes here and point of controls so that would be ideal in case you fail with this market structure you will be focusing on friendly revisit of the previous range for the bounce that's even stronger area right the most aggressive like if i know the market is the most aggressive is uh it's gonna hold this market structure here like the most immediate uh, local like more, more local to medium time frame once we breach this one we will be focusing on these two above us and then we have the major one here 
which was providing so many times uh, big big inflection point for the Bitcoin 69,000. This is coming also from the previous cycle. Let's have a look on AMT locally. So what is Bitcoin doing here? So we were building uh, past week. I was building a lot of longs. I was telling our traders I'm keeping always when I took some long, I said I'm keeping 30%. I'm keeping 40% because I, I know like I'll tell traders, I, I think the summer for us is the main opportunity to build longer duration uh, longs like from 50k was super long duration. But also all these pullbacks here, which we were longing, um, I was keeping part of the exposure. Now, for me, the big green light for me was definitely when market truly started trading above the two weeks VAR here. So for me, it was key market goes outside of this range where we were for two weeks. And we finally started to do so. And we were trading here a small rock range, a lot of chop here. But these last returns were pretty bullish here on the VAR and we started to go for the breakout. And you know, the, you know the story, all these highs were taken out. We did swing failure pattern. Uh, we took nice profits, but what is the most bullish thing market can do is actually negate the swing failure pattern of all these highs and uh, even short stop all these shorts taking it. So, uh, yeah, AMT is very clear on that. And in the future, you will be watching. You not only have the uh, so you have the two weeks VAR here at 60,700, but you also will be watching the overall. This is the most aggressive high volume node to watch for continuation. Two weeks high volume node is over here set. If you lose this area, you will be watching uh, on this one. You can have bullish retests from here or from here. If you fail both of them, then it's very likely you just rotate range. Uh, you go, it's going to be super bearish for Bitcoin. You go again for the VAL and even take out all these all these uh, lows close together. But this would be future ideally bullish retests. It's going to depend on order flow. I'm showing you technical analysis, but things can change from a few hours from now or one day from now. Maybe we'll have uh, thousands of Bitcoins in the limit orders in the order books that will change and they will be absorbing the pullback. Yeah, but it's always good to have plan from so you so you are not so you are not surprised. Okay, so you are pushing outside this range, but where is Bitcoin actually pushing? Okay, so Bitcoin is coming for the friendly visit of the two day range we had prior. Look what happened at this point. Bitcoin gave you another green light. It's not. It was not rejecting here to the downside. So you could be patient. Whatever long you are, past two weeks, you are patient. You are getting accepted into this range. You are still watching that range. You see the point of control here. I was acting. Uh, it was a bridge to be the with weeks, but it's still like area. So the high volume node was helping definitely with the putting the top on the range. And you see what we are still respecting. So now we did. This is uh, still pretty good. We st we did tested the two-day val, and we are still holding in this range. This is still now nice level. You will be watching that. If you lose this area, it means the friendly visit of this range is over. The local top range here was more to to create a volume so people can take profit on the long side, and we go for the low volume node fill with the signal prints. But while you hold sixty-three thousand one seventy-nine, uh, there is no reason for for deeper pullbacks. Yeah, so that was also another reason I said today 63,000k on Binance uh, and on inverse this was a bit higher uh, is key area for today to hold. Actually, on, this is like first area where bulls will be trying to defend, okay, from empty perspective. And you see what you also do from, so not only the local thing, but you, if you want to see much more upside, you will be looking for acceptance into the two weeks range we had prior and we have a lot of levels in there. So, and you see what is happening now. So far we had no, not a single close of the, on the one hour candle, on the one hour time frame inside. Okay. So rejection, rejection. People who were longing in this range and are trapped from these areas. Yes, they are exiting the market as well. They are creating additional pressure. Okay. Also from this range. If you, you really need to do acceptance. What means acceptance? Start getting acceptance means some time spent above the level, some multiple candles closing, either ideally in market structure uptrend, yes, and you start going to the upside and you start thinking about potentially rotating this two weeks range, okay? 
then much better targets are opened and we have low volume node here so there will be very limited resistance in these regions that's what you want to go like you want to go over there and you are also not blind you also watch these two highs together we can get swing failure pattern here no matter if there is low volume node here so it's going to be interesting um, interesting place because we also have market structure here yeah previously so many people bought this level so a lot of people trapped once you go over the high volume node, uh, low volume node, you will have two day naked point of control this range. But you know, the main resistance for us will be uh, like the main resistance you watch for another bigger duration shorts and day trades and swings is going to be the high volume node of that range with point of control, which is now naked. So it's uh, 67,000 area, 67 to 67, 500. It depends what you do. If you do aggressive rejection, like uh, these were pretty aggressive rejections or you start ranging here and then you will take decision out of the local range and from the local range you usually have chance to be positioned both short and long which is great because you can let decide market which direction it takes one trade is stopped out second you let run so these were more local ranges let's have a look on medium time frame to high time frame to our time frame here so you see what is bitcoin doing so you see what also happened this is now six month range we are in these were big deviations so i also include them inside the current price action because we quick, quickly return back into the zones here from so i, I include that i don't want to stop range here yeah, and uh, not chat this i need to because uh, the volume is still done over here a lot of volume was done here from 57 up so this is valid pool there was big battle here we were definitely watching that huge battle was um, taking place here for the long-term bulls they were trying to defend their swing positions and they finally won now we start to even think about the next new rotation of the six month range okay so you will be watching these more local ranges okay for the for the local ranges and rejections but you're also aware now you are trading inside like back inside the six month range what you also want to do on retest what do you want to do so you want to go if you do pull back deeper one you want to hold six month val and go from here now I was showing you there is a lot of confluence here from the local perspective. So now you have also high time frame confluence. So you see how this area is starting to be very important. Okay, 60,000 to 61,000 on pullback. So we will be watching that. Uh, the main resistance, you, we can also turn on the high volume nodes. So you want to, like previously this was supply area and now we want to see this going to be flipped into the demand area and all these people shorting here will be serving as support the most aggressive support is here also from the higher time frames now we are doing small range here of course we are doing that because this is six month high volume node we we tend to do ranging range trading in uh in the high volume nodes this one is main for us so you will watch 67,000 for there should be immediate scalp do i have it precise or it actually actually moved a bit it moved a bit uh why it's five months it's going to be six months okay you can have alert on sixty-seven thousand. very likely you get swing trade uh, swing trade you get scalp trade or maybe intraday short so just watch that and if you want to see the full range rotations you will need to reclaim the high volume node me we might get into the range here again and we will be positioning both uh, both ways from that range from the from this high volume node you start trading above you will be thinking about new range rotation to the VAG and also new all-time highs and bitcoin also created you see what both bitcoin created we have so many highs close together like once bitcoin starts really going above this high you should not be mm, standing inside uh, in front of the train but you will be letting it run and you will be only focusing on the main high here for the big swing failure pattern potentially all-time high swing failure pattern <clears throat> if not you know sky is the limit for the bitcoin but these are all curved highs close together they will be cascading into each other like look here these were yes this foot uh, visual swing failure pattern but these are equal highs like people were not properly stopped out liquidity was not taken properly so yeah we will see how this goes 
but once you you really need to take this out and reclaim this if you do that the times of bright bright upside is open for the bitcoin anchor with ups we can start with the more local ones which are holding our uptrend that's always a great sign if you are in swing long for example 50k swing long you remember over here one of the indications for my swing long to be like safe and I was not panicking was to of course watch the main anchor view up of that uptrend of that low as well yeah you see market lost it only once and quickly reclaimed it from 65 56k which was another uh, longer term position and since that moment you again traded the main anchor view up as a support especially this this bounce here and we are, st we are still trading above so market was telling me clearly the 50k bounce 48 49000 bounce is very strong there is no reason to panic and same similar story from 56k again since we put the anchor view up in we're using it to add to our size to positions hold hold briefly lost some rejections quickly quickly regained and you spend majority of time out of this anchor view up a bit of chop a bit of chop but market was defining it Mm, the anchor view ups are acting better when more time is like here we push to the upside we for a few days we were not touching it and then we get nice reaction if you like this one was touched only after the next day actually not even like 24 hours so so much job in the future what you need to do is to have alert on this anchor view up and on this anchor view up 56k and 49k they will still need to prove us the trend is strong and any pullback will be bought out of them definitely watch that more encouraging sign for you if you were long from here here or whatever for the you had a lot of time to be long from the two weeks range was to finally when we go so this is the main so look at that this is the main 71,000 anchor you up okay and you finally took it down over here it was resistance resistance a bit and you finally reclaimed it you also had more aggressive one i think i deleted from uh, from my chat already this one downtrend this was this was the most recent one most impact impactful one uh but you know market got so choppy at on it i i really deleted it <laughs> it's not needed anymore it was nice we, we were trading above it but yeah too choppy one hour time frame or actually two hour time frame there is still one important viva we uh, actually are fighting at the moment so the six month range anchor view up so since we play six month range this is the like big boss here this is the final boss of the anchor view ups if you really want to open road for more upside you need to like this is the box you need to reclaim this these anchor view ups and this box and start trading higher you see when we do that when we did that in the past it led to a lot more upsides like over here reclaim push to the upside again defended lost reclaim lost big moves to the downside again rejection we started trading above a bit below market starts to defend and once it's clearly lost and retested then we started to go into the another bigger because you literally you measure volume for the past six months with this anchor view up so it's telling you who is winning so is shorts winning or longs are winning so we need to see long start to be in the in the power they need to start showing us they are winning because it's still middle of the range or the blocks this move here we actually stopped at the four hour order blocks as well that's why you also range here uh, we have a lot of strong order blocks above us i think i will be trading each of them with the confluence and some nice new order blocks to the downside but you know this is not not so uh, important look at the symmetry so we have the symmetry symmetry folder here can turn on one by one you always watch symmetry so move from the 49,000 to 62,000 this is the symmetry box if we repeat the same symmetry we will be this is the this is the pool if we repeat same symmetry same impulse same aggressivity same volume and, and other things we will be having target now at 69,844
okay we are already did like middle like 60 percent of the move so if bitcoin continues pushing that's another target for you for your swing long uh, for your swing long and you will be also at this high here and and these two two highs together so you'll wait if you do swing failure pattern or not if not you can be more greedy right so this is one of the targets and more locally we actually so we will turn on this and we will turn on these two boxes You also had this pull here, so this pull started from push here, this is the pull, the low and uh, beyond this high you are getting one to one extension. Oops. And you see how market now repeated similar uh, symmetry of this of this little light, light like more local push after the first pullback so one to one uh, was hit so you see these extension targets are showing you like swing longs are also taking uh i mean some positions some long traders are hitting some one to one extension for their for their positions they are placing in so some traders are truly trading just symmetry and a lot of market participants so you always need to be aware when you are reaching one so that's why you are in the range if you continue higher then you have the cotton sound here which is aligning with the like big swing swing another like big swing uh, target for 50k from balance zone perspective we have this symmetry here so uh when we go when we manage to go beyond this high then your target is going to be 74311 and that's i think your all time high yes because you did uh, you did the symmetry here of this pool exactly 125 so similar symmetry will be expected beyond this high if we don't do sync failure pattern here be aware of that it's main pool and we also have the high time frame pool Let me turn everything what we need. This is initial, this is when the initial range started to be formed from key levels like these two moves here. Everything what happened uh, after was done with the extension targets because also the most of the volume is in this box. Okay, so this is the main box for us. You see how markets started to big symmetry okay 125 was reached 125 was reached over here almost into the 1.5 so you know if market goes to the downside there is very likely you hit 125 like as immediate target and also almost 1.5 can be hit you see what happened here so we started trending down 125 hit to the dollar also now 1.5 was hit to the dollar or 0 0.5 okay and final break down to the downside which was the most exhaustive when we had these risk uh, events in the world was one to one move out of this range into these boxes here one to one move if bitcoin managed to go beyond all these highs here uh, especially like creating new all-time high just from the symmetry your target is now sitting at 79,900 hundred because people have hard time to actually estimate targets for when bitcoin is doing all-time high or any asset in the world symmetry is one of them so going beyond 74,000 70 73,500 not doing swing failure pattern and you will be aiming for the 79,000 one to one extension same move like here same breakdown local fips to watch medium time frame high time frame up close as we don't need to go over them trap traders oh just a quick words so also when i was taking shorts here on friday i knew for in the from the past a lot of people on bybit were actually longing in this candle here and got trapped with uh, they are naked so they got never chance to escape and also open interest was increasing so that's also helping us now i will be deleting that i was just keeping it for a video on the pullback we have bybit shorts now trapped in this area so when you will be taking trades here and you will be expecting bounces trapped traders will be helping you with a bounce that's what you always want do we have more so we have some people trapped in the shorts in the week uh who are shorting total loss some crazy people that's far away so you don't want to trade that but also another area you watch is we have two 500 million uh 
open interest increase with 15,000 Bitcoin longs at the top of the candle. <laughs> this is insane, by the way, size. This size was much smaller than this and it was offering us big resistance in the past. So uh, I really want to see what's going to happen here. Like thing is, the move from here was oh, the move from here was 30 percent. So imagine how many people are actually holding position trap. Not that many, but you still created big absorptions. OK. Uh, Doritos of this area arrived also after big pullback, so you know market will be will be watching this area before you actually attack beyond 70,000. We might get a lower high put from this box, so make sure to be aware of that. I think also have to trade area in there, so it's not a coincidence. One hour time frame. Yeah, yeah. So I have trade area here. That's uh, one of the reasons. That's uh, the last area which can stop us before Bitcoin breaks 70,000 70, and higher. So in the future, big alert, big fat alert on that area. Uh, daily. I was mapping some naked dailies. You can stop video and mark them. We have a newborn naked weekly at 58,392. How is it looking on weekly time frame actually? Yes, what a reversal. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice. Naked box. We have so many of them below us. The strongest ones locally are here, 60,800. You see so much confluence at 60,800 today. Just showing you how it built, how I'm building it. We've traded, uh, these wigs already traded a lot of naked point of controls from these areas. So this is traded now. Above us, we have another big chunk here, daily naked box. And then you have monthly, this is like big fat monthly, uh, monthly rejection area. In this area, we will look for swing shorts uh, as well. Okay. Composite naked point of controls, 59,003 at 7 to watch. All time high key levels to watch. Mm, each time we approached it, we actually uh, rejected heavily. So I will be watching again 16,182. Is the main, uh, this is from previous cycle. When we go to one week time frame, this is previous cycle high. And uh, Bitcoin, like if you want Bitcoin truly confirmed, uh, like new all time high and bull market and everything. You need to really trade above this and you need to reclaim this as a big support. Each time we revisited it, it was, um, we, either, uh, we either flipped it as uh, resistance or it started supporting market. So just watch that. This is the liquidity profile. Of course, I watch it every day on trading different, but I am aware I'm marking some significant liquidity nodes directly into the trading view as well, in case market moves fast. We see we can still see there is big Fed liquidity still above us. When we go to trading different, you can see that liquidity. So market has if market continues pushing, there is still a lot of pain ahead. Yes. These nodes, these two nodes and below us. Uh, we will be trading these more local nodes like we already took like the most aggressive weekend longs. Yes, a lot of them taken out here. You have another one here and uh, the one a lot below which I marked. Okay, I can show you two more folders. These are market structures long term. These are from previous uh, bull market. We can still see how they are respected like crazy. This is also why we range here. Uh, this was immediate, like so important to f to hold on the and create range in it. These two helped us with the bounce. There is one more market structure area above us. You st start trading above and you open road for much higher levels. And also, if you are swing and spot trader, or you just want to hold uh, long term long term Bitcoin without any leverage, then uh, this this uh, folder is for you. This is the macro range. We can go to one day time frame. And you see Bitcoin is still doing well from this macro range. We've lost, like this was not good. We lost macro vac of four years and also the high volume node, but we retested another high volume node. These were all the people who missed out the initial big uh, bull market breakout and high volume node already. You see how we are creating the week. So many people had limit orders in this high volume node. 47,210 in the future in case this low is lost will be crucial level. There can be like major, 
major swing long from the, uh, from this level and from this high volume node overall. You can also see how we are how market is still respecting those levels on the smaller time frame. Just need to do extension. That's what I wanted to see from this four hour pull. Okay, so you are reacting here from running poke. That's fine. You push to the upside. That's really great. And you find you are finding support on macro bar retest over here and overall box of the high volume node. I wanted to see range here for the like new platform for the push to the upside. 56,000 long was also watching this high time frame pool. On the future, you also want to still see market supported out of this high volume node. Yes. While you do so, Bitcoin is extremely bullish and is bull market uh, territories uh, like confirmed because, you know, you are trading market is telling you clearly we don't care about this value built here in this previous market. It, we are using it as a support. Same like here, here, here. Boom. All you need to do now for the Bitcoin like is to break this curvature to the upside and same but think what you see on one minute time frame when you change and break trend, you know, you will see some big magic. So that was technical analysis, just uh, many views. Uh, trade areas, I can show you what I like to the downside and above us. So above us, you are watching the Above us, I'm watching this trade area here for the medium swing failure pattern at 65,592. We have multiple, like two eyes close together, major liquidity. I will be looking if we do swing failure pattern. If not, I'm no, I know it's low volume node and major liquidity. So I let market run to the upside. And now we have, look at, oh, that's so wide, so wide. <laughs> that's pretty wide. <clears throat> because also monthly, yeah, there will be multiple trades. But for me, it's going to be general area of interest. Uh, this trade area here where I'll be looking to build some day trades, uh, swing shorts, you know, and day trade shorts. So definitely very wide area. And last one is above us. This this one is focusing on these drop traders here with all the blocks, daily naked point of controls. Uh, one one point of control. Yeah, so really nice. And below us. We are still in this local range. You should be in Skullblong over here. We covered that. There is very little support here. So if market starts continuing to the downside, just be careful. Almost no support from the volume. Uh, the first real support starts, as I said here, these market structures, these local ones, but also you see where I put the trade area. So trade area is exactly at trapped shorts on Bybit. Two weeks high volume node, secondary, from this uh, range we were for two weeks, okay? And uh, you have batch of naked point of control, so a lot of people will be watching that. Also six month valleys over here. That's why you also need one that's why I also like to have one screen where I have everything. But I know all this context from local, medium to high time frame, what this level means. So I know there is big confluence here. So hence I have the trade area here. Watching area for the pullback to add to my longs, to create new longs, to see how market behaves here. Yeah, You just, uh, like your, your job as a trader is also to not take trades in the areas where there is just too risky, we can say. If this area fails, we probably very likely we get some multiple, like you will easy make money for stop loss very likely. And also these informations are not financial advice, just education and entertainment. It's very likely we get reaction here, but also if this area fails, you will watch. Of course, this low you can also watch and then the trade area comes here. This is the main support from the volume side from the today range we were in before another trade area. You lose that. It means you're rotating this range here and you will be focusing on lows to be taken out. We have two lows to be taken out here into the trade area and match liquidity uh, for the bounce. Okay, so that's that's what is covered to the to the both directions. And as a bonus, we can have a look on TRDR. We can have a look on a bit of uh, order flow tools. What I'm saying here right now can change pretty fast. So it means it's very valid just maybe for today what I'm seeing. So if you want to learn something from that. So for example, it was really great. We had some nice orders uh, above the weekend highs. These were also equal highs, which means it's super likely market will be act market will be hunting them down as a magnet. One hour video. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> market will be hunting those highs. 
nice absorptions here. You see when we did this, this uh, open interest decrease here and uh, some weekend longs were stopped out. You see what was very nice here. You've got the a lot of orders starting to show up in the order books. They were chasing. Some of them were uh, spoofs. But they definitely help to push your market to at least to take profit one. Yes, all these orders here. If you crash and there is no order books uh, change, like nobody adding new limit orders in the order book, is more likely and more easy for market to continue down. Okay, You always want to see passive side, passive hand in the market, which is always strongest. Passive buyers and sellers are always stronger than market buyers who are taking a, a moving market. You always want to see them... Uh, you know, helping you. You can also see we don't have much perpetual support below us, just some single walls. So there is very limited support on the other books uh, to the downside. How is the spot market looking? So spot market, this was this is still big resistance, 65,000. The high was not taken. And spot markets are just having some, every 1,000, some nice smaller wall, but uh, nothing crazy. Like if Bitcoin goes for the deeper pullback, then spot market will not help much. Um, <clears throat> we can have a look on Okotoki to see where are the resistance and the support nodes. Cumulative, we turn off. So we can see 65k still defended, 66,000 defended on spot and uh, on Coinbase and Binance. Kraken as well a, a bit, okay. 70k massive barrier in the future, 68,000 below us. Below us, 62,000. Mm, I'm also seeing some perpetual walls in the area. It's yellow, so it's highlighted, it's like decent. So from 62k, is it in the inefficiency? I think it is in the inefficiency. So um, they are definitely front running 62,000, yes. So 60, oh, yes, yes. Oh, so these walls are trying to front run one, two, three. And the market, overall market structure support. So they are not exactly at that point, but they are front running. Uh, some traders, they won't feel. They don't need to be at the exact level. Um, 61,000, mild support. And then 60,000. So 60,000 also defended a bit. But, you know, other books are more empty to the downside. They still need to repopulate. You know, sometimes when the market is falling, then new orders show up. Not A lot of people don't show their hand until market truly approaches them. So they can go market orders. So. But you see, uh, short side is like more heavy. That's why you also see the pressure in the uh, TRDR, for example. Let's go to main order books template. You see, we started to see pressure. That's also was helping uh, to see market go into the range. Same like here, same like here. Same like here, same like here, same, same, same. <laughs> okay. You can go to other templates. Open it as increasing. So yes, as I said, in case Bitcoin goes for the pullback, you last last thing you want to do is to actually buy too, too soon when all these open interest uh, increasing uh, breakout longs will be closing and uh, creating pain. So you don't want to provide liquidity to them. You wait for the strongest, strongest areas I was showing you. 61,800 and 61,800 and something. And we also actually, if you if you zoom out like this, this uh, this is another reason why I took some profits on longs, yes, especially 50k long and also profits from these longs here. You, you just did a symmetrical move. So from here, into 56k it was very exhausting move to the downside we've reached almost 1.8 billion to the downside so big delta a lot of shorts a lot of for selling don't imagine this as a, like people getting trouble on short side this was also people like selling bitcoin they thought they will be buying at 50,000 cheap no well no and now here we actually did similar symmetry look at the move 1.7 billion so you re repeated symmetry uh, in terms of aggregated volume and delta here, okay. So this is also telling you it's time for time. It's time for take profit. It's time for market to range a bit, because now all the shorts who are shorting are now destroyed in this move. These two moves were one billion, so not not reaching full potential of this move here, okay. Which is just beautiful. Further on templates liquidations. Five minute time frame. I don't think we have many liquidations. 
In bull market you usually have more longs liquidations uh, than shorts. People are just too greedy. Nothing, uh, nothing significant here. How is CVD looking? Who is buying? And we can see everybody distributing. I was also telling our traders on uh, Friday and Thursday, like uh, since even actually since six fifty thousand Coinbase continues to buying. This is uh, spot buyers on. I mean ETF buyers are piling in, and uh, we went into the local downtrend here. But from fifty six k, they also showed up. Binance was going sideways, but Binance. I mean the Coinbase was leading, and also Kraken. Kraken. Not correct, and Bitstamp. Bitstamp also created some impressive volumes. Few thousand dollar, few thousand bitcoins they actually bought with, on Bitstamp. So they are not small. They they were going hand in hand with Coinbase, but now uh, you know distribution started. We are ranging. Spot keeps selling. Until this is over, you will be just very likely ranging, and we will wait for the New York uh, Open and. can see the largest orders in the order books this one is providing resistance and another one is at 66,000 and below us order books you see not much support in the order books until 60,200 so just be aware of that funding rate five minute time frame funding rate was also great for us uh, when we were uh, enjoying longs each time we actually went like past since 50,000 lows. I think most of the time when the funding rate went negative, we pushed heavily to the upside. But for 56k, I think everyone every time it was uh, winner except this this here, yeah, because funding rate went negative here, and we were already topping out. But this 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 uh, this played out well. This one great. Just be careful. Yeah, but when we are showing shorts and funding rate is declining, it means spot is buying, but perpetuals can be fighting the spot inflows and they can be squeezed out. So same thing again. Same thing again here. Negative funding rate, big move to the upside. Negative funding rate, big move to the upside. Negative funding rate a bit here. It was not play out immediately. It was just not so so big deviation anyway. And watch this negative funding rate here. It actually went negative down to on that, down to this point. And there was another big squeeze here and it started catching up. It takes hours yes, to actually be priced in the, you know, the res resets are happening on Binance and uh, like on Bybit is every eight hours. So it played out well. And now it's back to neutral. It's uh, a bit uh, elevated, but it's nothing. Uh, it's not even 0 0.01. So it's like neutral, still neutral. So for a deeper pullback, make sure to have alert here, 60,738 uh, weekly point of control. This is like the most uh, immediate, uh, this week uh, strong support. We are trading outside months value, we will be closing months soon. It would be great if Bitcoin actually uh, would be uh, ranging here and then push to the upside. So next month when we close, the, mo the we will get support from this monthly profile from 68,700 down to 58,000. This is going to be like major box to be building another long positions and to also, yeah. So ideally we don't revisit back into the, would be great. Okay, traders, this was a very long video. I was sharing a lot of knowledge for you. If you like what you see, uh, you say I'm very, um, you know, transparent. I show you a lot of things, but you still need to understand, like if you actually pull the trigger, it's all about order flow. Uh, yes, price action has influence, technical analysis, sure, but 80% is order flow and you really need to learn order flow. It takes months if you want to learn all the order flow tools we use, exo charts, trading light, trading different, aggregate, mm, TRDR of course for day traders and swing traders and for, for even for in normal trades. If you all want to learn this, join our group, you will not regret it, you will be new trader. Thank you for watching guys, bye in the group.